Okay, so this is a video on how I installed Mac OS X Snow Leopard on the external hard drive sitting there um, on my Dell Mini 10V. Um, you'll notice that I've also got Windows 7 here, that's running from my internal hard drive. Um, I could have created a dual boot, but I chose not to. Um, because I didn't have a Windows 7 install disk, um, I'll probably see how this video goes, see if there's um, enough demand for me to make a video on how I installed it to my external hard drive. And then we'll go from there. And um, if someone wants me to create a dual boot on a uh, tutorial on the dual boot on the internal hard drive, then I'll happily do so. Um, so we'll just restart and boot up into Mac OS, hopefully everything works. It's a bit temperamental, but um, before I do this, the um, cable that I used for this was a SATA IE USB, and that cost me about 21 quid off Amazon.co.uk. That's the only thing that you have to actually pay for. Um, obviously, you'll want a Snow Leopard retail desk too. So it's, it's about 50 quid, but... Um, 250 quid with the laptop, I mean, I got my laptop for 200 quid is better than paying how much a retail Mac costs nowadays. Um, you also obviously need a CD drive, an external CD drive, I've grabbed this out of my um, desktop computer, and I also grabbed that out of my desktop computer. But anyway, we'll start and we'll boot into Mac. Um, I won't go into too much detail on how I did this at the moment. Um, yeah, okay. I find that I have to boot into 7 to um, restart to actually get the option to boot from the drive. Um, my BIOS is set up so that it boots to the external hard drive. But, um, you're like me if you know me. I'm just talking rubbish at the moment anyway. Oh, and you also need one blank disk to make a notebook boot TD. Hopefully this works. Next. Okay, I've just booted into seven. That's embarrassing. Okay, sorry about that. That was completely my fault for not actually turning on the external hard drive. Um, that's the um, notebook boot loader which you have to install manually, but I'll go through that. Oh, um. The boot time is actually quite long. I don't know how long an actual boot time on an actual Mac is, but it's quite a long boot time. Um, it's also worth knowing that I haven't upgraded to 2 gig of RAM. That's something that I want to invest in, but haven't as of yet. I am actually stuck at 10.6 because I don't know if 10.6.3 it's compatible with Hackintosh or Atom processors yet, but um, I'm unsure if I use Notebook RC4 or 8.4, 0 0.8.4, sorry, if that's actually a um, 0 0.8.3 healthy thing. Anyway, here's my Mac. It's another third installed in Filey, um, Soundworks. Um, sorry, that's my corners being a bit of a bitch. Um, sorry, I have set up a lot of things to um, roll and start. But um, yeah, I mean, everything works. Um, I haven't tried hibernation or anything. Um, I don't have Bluetooth actually on my. Um, Dell Mini 10 v but um, there's many other guides on how you can get that to work and everything. Um, if you want me to make a guide on how I've done this, um, 
then come in and I'll gladly do that in the next two days. Um, also, if you don't want me to do it externally and you want me to do an internal hard drive dual boot, but still with the external CD installation, then I can gladly do that for you. Um, okay, I think I'm done. Um, I realise where I've gone wrong there because I should say always allow. Um, but that's uh, just me talking about Spotify unnecessarily. Um, I've got two finger scroll working, by the way, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, and obviously sound works. I'll just play something for you. So you can see sound works. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you, um, sorry about the babble, if you want the guide, just comment. Thank you.